Hi all, I'm Ariel, a Malaysia-based fashion and wedding photographer. This is my first channel in YouTube. Uh, for this channel, we will less emphasize on gear and more emphasize on how to become a better photographer. We will teach you how to dress up, how to procedures, and how to arrange your shot to, uh, starting to the end. And we will uh, prepare you to become a better photographer in the process. So today, I will start the channel by how you organize your item. A lot of time we know that organizing items is very easy for the photographer. Just pack and pack, pack and unload it, unload, pack and keep it. That's all. But actually, uh, for a job that we do, I more prefer that we have an inventory itself. An inventory is a calculation of how many items you carry per job. That means if you carry a, a set of 10 items, and then your return will be the same exactly the same items that return. So the purpose of making an inventory for your item actually is quite important for yourself. First of all, you can easier to manage your shop. If you are doing a fashion shot, you can carry the lens that you needed or the gear that you needed for the fashion shot. While if you are doing a wedding photography job, you just take the job that you needed the item and all the gear that you needed for the job. So, by preparing less and more efficient items, you can become a better photographer in the process. So that a lot of time, we will frequently have the, uh, how say, a mindset of, I should carry a more item or more gear during the process. But if you carry the less item, you will be more efficient and more focusing on the on the shooting than rather thinking which gear to use for the shot itself. So how I organize and do my inventory, I will have one sheet of inventory list in my own that I record all the gear that I have. So by carrying out the gears that I have today for the job, I will take it so that I know what I bring out. In the end of the shootings, I'll take checking and double check with the same inventory, take it again, and then I'll bring back the same items come back. And secondly, how you we do the inventory more efficiently and how to organize your item become is uh, belongs to yours. So normally I will organize by labeling all my gears with the name of the uh, gear itself. So let's sample this one is 85 1.8 cannons. I will label it at 85 1.8 cannons here. Second, I put all my item with my sticker, label sticker, so that the item is belong to me and it belongs to this gear itself. So you won't make sure of other gears or other equipment uh, for the other photographers. Previously I have a experience where my Myself and a second photographer, we are using the same gear, same brand of gear, and then we tend to miss out our caps, we tend to miss out our even lenses itself. So that after the car experience, making me feel that preparing yourself not to miss out with other people's gears is very crucial. Because let's say I'm bringing a seven battery. If I alone one to my second photographer, in the end of the day, I will remember that I have bring out seven uh, seven battery to my inventory, and I ask my second photographer to give it back to me. Then rather I give it, I then rather that I give it to him. So the less uh, item that are missing, you have more time on shootings, and then you have lesser uh, chances of spending more to buy the gear itself back or another example is when you are using my own gear I know that how I take care of it do I have any damage or do I do any harm uh, how I use it if I using an other people gears or I loan my gear to other people I don't know how they use it maybe they fall it drop it I don't know because I have an experience that even though I borrow my 
gears to and simon this gear to my friends or photographers itself in the return the gear looks gear is look nice on the outside but actually he had dropped it once without i realizing and i bring out to for my working photography shot it has some damage but luckily the time i using a prime lens so i have another option or lenses that i can use for the shot just i'm using the type of lenses that i need for the day and another thing is how you organize your bag itself i'm organizing my bags by using a series of same labeling let's say the stickers i put in all my to my gears so that my gear have all the same numbers and same uh, item in the slot so in the missing slot i will add on the sticker if don't if don't have any item in the slot i will remove the sticker so that it more you can more efficient on checking and metric in one glance if you're in a very hurry to change scenes like in a wedding or in another uh, quite a frequent changing movement shot then third at all thirdly all the items in your care you definitely will take care even more better than the others that's i'm very sure of myself and uh, and others also you you take care of your items and you make sure that your item is very good condition so now organizing your items step two ensure that all your caps example front and back caps try to put together so that it will be in a couple in a couple you won't be missing it if you are using a front cover front lens just keep it in your bag or put it in your pocket but putting in your pocket is not my recommendation because putting in your pocket you may drop it I have dropped a few of my caps doing I put in my pocket, especially back pocket. It's more convenient safe, but actually a lot of time is getting missing quite easily. Then thirdly, ensure that all your gears are safe and sound by putting all the safety equipment that you need. Example, if I bring all the gears there, inventory counts is very important and I bring safety so I using a big design this item will be in safe and sound so I won't be dropping it or I can carry it around just ensure that protecting your gears will help you and improving your photography uh, less of spending on photography gear itself so hope you enjoyed uh, today my channel today so uh, I'll see you all in next time. See you. How you learn something? So, please like, share, and comment on the uh, channel itself, so that we have more time. Uh, I will have more sharing knowledge on uh, in the better. Let you become a better photographer itself. Thank you.